you've installed your door, really one of the first steps you want to take is to get into the door controller and check the parameters, check the settings, uh, and, and assure that they, they fit your application or match the specification that you've been given by your, your customer. So to do that, obviously, you're going to lift the cover up. You can see it'll, it'll hinge open and hold open for you. Now we're going to kind of walk you through that process. So the first thing you're going to do once you've accessed the inside of your door header is you're going to energize the controller with this toggle switch right here. Obviously, you'll see the lights come on. You'll get three dashes, basically meaning that the door doesn't know where it is at present, right? It's had power cut. So the first action it needs to take is to go open and, and find home. But just as you visually look at this controller facing, you'll see that this section of it matches our switch card on the door track exactly. You've got the same LEDs with your error codes. You've got open close buttons. You can activate the door from here. Then you've got some toggle switches here and a mode button. In, in addition to that, you've got kind of some shortcuts and some information on the left-hand side of, of the switch label. In the upper left corner, you've got your door setup process. So if you're arriving in a door, doing an initial setup, these are the steps you take. You've got some more information about error codes here. And then you've also got some details about the program parameters that we'll look at in a second. So if you're doing an initial door setup, the first step of that is to hold this mode button down. And you're going to hold it down until you see a P1 in the display. So once you get to P1, if you look over here at program parameters, that is your close time delay. So that's how you adjust how long your door waits before it attempts an auto closure. So as, we, as we've said in other videos, you can cut that down to as low as three seconds or you can go as high as four minutes. They will come from our factory preset at 20 seconds. So to get through the remainder of the program parameters, you just continue to tap your mode button and you'll go through each of these parameters. So you can see I keep continuing forward. One that we'll talk about today is P22. So when I get to P22, that is how my motion sensor on the outside of the door is going to function. When it leaves the factory, it's going to be set on a two, which means it will serve as a motion to open. So you walk up to the door, it opens, and it will also serve as a safety. So if the door is in, a t is in an attempt to close, it will auto reverse if you get inside, inside that field of the motion sensor. So again, it tells you what each of the one and two means over here. And so you adjust that based on your needs. A lot of time, if we get a lot of traffic in front of the door, people will adjust that only to, to safety, right? And so that's how you do that. So as we continue on, I'll stop. And when I get to this PS1 from hitting that mode button, you'll see a no pop up. This is an initial setup of the door. So when I see that no, if I use my up arrow here and change that to yes, then that gives me access to enter my initial setup. So you'll see I hit mode at that yes, and that lets me set my upper limit for this door using these up and down arrows. So basically I just find where I want that limit to be using these arrows. And whenever I'm there, I hit mode again and the door will automatically drop to the floor and find its lower limit. Same thing with the upper limit. Once it gets there, I can use my arrows to adjust that up or down wherever I need it. We as a door company want it resting on the floor, right? Because we want that good, good seal at the floor. So once you find that, you hit mode again and you're out of programming, right? The door can operate and function as normal. Additionally, you'll see some, some LED lights across the top here that, that show actual position of the door. You can see it counting down right now to try to close. As I hit mode, I also get to things like open speed, close speed, and total cycle. So when I get to open speed, you can see that I can adjust that up and down, right? That's a percentage. So I can go as high as 100 or I can slow, slow the open speed of the door down. Same thing with close. You can go high as 50 and you can slow down that close. We purposefully want it to close a little bit slower for safety reasons. And then your bottom light is just total cycles. That's a number times 100. So that's just keeping up with how many cycles the doors had on it. 